Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Whiteboard and also how to use it for your Zoom meetings in case you'd like to use it there rather than the Whiteboard that comes with Zoom. Uh, so quick, real quick, we're going to show you how to get to the uh, Zoom Whiteboard. So when you share your screen, if you pick Whiteboard and then Share, then you can see the tools that come with it, you know, for text, uh, drawing lines and boxes, you know, little stamp icons and spotlight tools and eraser if you want to erase stuff and formatting with colors and for your text and redo, you know, not a whole lot you could do with it. It's pretty basic. So if you want something a little more exciting, then what you might want to do is try the Microsoft Whiteboard, which is a Windows 10 app and that's free to use and it should already be on your computer. So let me stop this. And then to open it, you could look under your apps or you could just search for whiteboard and there it is right there and then when you open it you'll see if you have any existing whiteboards you could open them from them and edit it or you can create a new one so if I click on one that I've been working on here zoom in here so I could see it and you could see some of the things I've been playing around with such as you know adding a graphic uh, a little post-it note or adding a, a list that you could edit and so on so going back to a new one, click on create a new whiteboard. And then you'll notice down here you have several tools such as, you know, adding text where you could type in some text. Here's the, the sticky note that I did. You could type in whatever you want here. And then once you do it, that's there. You can move it aside and same for your text. And then, you know, move it aside. And if you want to do something like add some images from either your computer or do a Bing search or from if your canvas connected you could go there and then here's where I added the uh, list that you saw you could add different kinds of lists uh, and also insert PDFs and Word documents right into your uh, whiteboard itself and then of course you have the undo and redo buttons so that's this part of the toolbar and if you notice you have this here switch to inking mode if you click on that it'll bring up a different set of tools so here's where you have your, you know, your colored pencils and that kind of thing. If you want to do, you know, rainbow design, or if you want to highlight something, you could do that. And then of course you have your eraser. So if you want to erase certain things, and a ruler, if you want to do like a straight line, you could put that up there and draw a straight line on it. And now you got your straight line. And this one's kind of interesting. So lasso select, if you want to select just a certain part of it by drawing a, a box around it, that kind of thing. And, you know, it depends on what you're doing on if it's going to, what it's going to work for. And then you could, you know, copy it or delete it or edit it or that kind of thing. And of course your edit and redo buttons there as well. And you know, so up here you could, if you click on this, you could, invite someone to your whiteboard so they could collaborate on it and share and then if you click here you have some various settings I'm not going to go all of them so just you know if you want to activate some of the other options here or if you want to export it as a image file to email to someone or if you want to change your uh, background that kind of thing you know give it some grids or so, so on where you want to put the toolbars uh, if you want to clear everything you could click on that and it deletes it all it'll keep the background though so if you want to do that You'll have to uh, change the background back to nothing or if you know change it to whatever color you want that kind of thing so pretty simple to use so you, you know like I said just go through you know switch back and forth between the, the types of tools here and then go ahead and insert your stuff and then when you're ready to share it in zoom so let's say I wanted to share this one you would go to your zoom meeting and just like you would share your screen with anything else click on share screen make sure it's open and then find your Microsoft whiteboard click share and now you're sharing it with everybody who's in your meeting just like you would any other option and when you're done just click on stop share and then you know you could save it and have multiple whiteboards and go back to them and edit them and export them and do whatever you want from here if even some options down here if you want to export it from here or delete it or or so on and create a new one and pretty simple all right, so like I said, just uh, do a search for whiteboard and bring up the Microsoft whiteboard, and then you could just share your screen like anything else in Zoom, and, and that should be it. 
and I think it's a better alternative than the Zoom whiteboard. It has some more features and a little more flexible, so you might want to check it out. All right, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.